Hey guys, it's JP from Major Gamage. Tower of Guns has one hour of my time to impress me enough to tell you to go out and buy it. I'll give you my verdict and we will see if it's worth your time and potentially, depending on what console you buy it on, your money. So, first thing I've kind of noticed is how much this is kind of like Borderlands, but I've not had a go, so. We'll have a game, see what you think. Yeah, I was right in my description. Coins. Do your best not to get killed. Makes sense. No items, of course. Usual. Oh, punk box. I she might have to shoot the hug box. I feel conflicted about this. Now I don't, you get shit for it. So cool. Oh, it's out. It does suffer from Borderlands' original problems. Borderlands 1, where the first three or four guns you get are so bad. Did I do that, or did that just... Hmm. Well, that's not very nice. Whoa, Jesus Christ, I'm about to go. I don't know what that does, but I don't have time to check. Holding Y seems to do something. Ow. It's weird things don't have health bars and stuff, so you don't really know what you're doing to them. I didn't think of these as... I don't know why I didn't just think, shoot the thing, but... Whoa, Christ. Did this open itself? I can't tell if I'm doing that or it's doing it itself. Jesus, okay, fair enough. Oh, that door's got a skull on it. Here's jump. Mana spin bot. Mana spin bot. It's sending a lot of shit my way. It would have hit. I have no help. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of stuff in. Well, that's not fair. Fuck out of here. Ow. You can't spawn stuff from beneath me. That's cool. No, oh, I don't have time to check what that does. <laughs> it's gonna be something useful. Oh, and I'm dead. I have died. Well, interesting. So, do I stay as level three, or do I reset to level one? How do you get better guns? No, I'm level one again. So it's effectively, yeah. Hmm. 
interesting. So can I just go straight through here and... Yeah, so I can just shoot it a bit better. Okay, right, so that makes... Even level 1 is completely randomised. Shoot the door a couple of times to open it. There's no reload. Ah. The music is kind of menu music. It doesn't really invoke a sense of danger or make you feel like you're doing something important. But there's a lot of shit going on. And the jump is very horizontal. I found a secret for some description. Care to elaborate as to what that secret was? No. Oh, we can jump while falling. Interesting. And change direction. And is that a double jump? It is a double jump. Okay, so you can. Ah, bizarre. So now I have a completely different boss from last time. Jesus Christ! Make my fire shit at me. And you can't fucking dodge that for shit. Oh, Christ. Okay. You can't say I have two deaths on a level that's completely different from the last level because I can't learn from my mistakes of the bosses from last time. Decent character pistol. Portable pizza oven. I have sword blades. I'll try that. Ah, so you only have a gun that you level up as you beat stuff. So then if you die, it resets. Ah, I'd now think of that. Shoot the fucking lasers. That doesn't handhold, I'll give it that. For a free game, this is quite fun. For a game that on the Xbox costs £12, I think it was, this is very expensive and very lacklustre. But I would not be disappointed with this. For free. If this came on games with gold, be a good laugh. Ooh, we thought it would be a level up on gun. Now level 5. Okay, boss room number 3. Grandpa Napoleon. Boss battles don't seem to be particularly inspiring pyroclastic jelly right, so level 5 is the max you can be for your gun so uh, that's as powerful as I get but I've got more health and my speed up <laughs> I can't make it Quite difficult for me to walk in a straight line. That's just me being an idiot. This one's going to part out with two minutes, so I want to just sprint, surely. That's, that's what it's telling me to do.
belt in Delaware. Shitting hell! Wait, you don't have to do any of this shit. Doom ball. Again, theme of circular arena, boss that just hovers around you and fires rockets at you. Lots going on, but as long as you keep strafing, you're generally okay. That's bizarre. Oh. Oh. Items, I see. So, judging you know by the part times, that's literally what you've got to do. Just dash through it all, dodge everything. Get through quickly. Now, I'm spending too much time sitting around trying to kill all the trucks and the tanks and the little crap things that you're meant to kill. And really, I should just be going, let's go this way. You open the thing by shooting the door, so the first thing you want to do is locate the door, shoot the said door. So, yeah, the whole point of the game seems to be find the door. Shoot the door, get the hell out of there. Well, I've given it an hour of my time, and my verdict is meh. I think that pretty much adequately sums it up. Meh. For free, this is an okay game. It's not bad. It'll kill an hour while you're downloading something that you want to play. Download it, have a go. If you know all your friends download it, you play on the leaderboard. It gives you something to do. But it's not worth money. Sorry to the guys who made it. I know it's, a, it, it's an interesting game and a good concept. But it, it just says, here's you in a world. Go blow stuff up. And if you, you work out the buttons yourself. You work out how to open doors yourself. You work out how to kill enemies yourself you work out pretty quickly how much health certain bad guys have if they have a weak point of it I don't think any of them have a specific weak point but but it kind of seems like a lot of stuff was just kind of feels incomplete it feels like there was a lot of stuff that was supposed to be in the game that they never got around to putting in things like health bars I picked up a power up that says you picked up a shield and there was nothing to suggest I had a shield um, the secrets that are just a couple of coins on a ledge behind a wall that you just walk around the corner and it's there. It's not a secret, it's just there. All in all, it's an enjoyable game. It's fun but lacklustre, I think would be my verdict. Um, it's worth playing for an hour or two just to have a go. And it's got a few bits to keep you coming back and playing again. Okay. Try it out guys, if you can get it for free definitely give it a go. Thanks for watching guys, take care.